Good morning, my dear friends. Good morning to you all. Welcome to the studios of the Evangelist Ministry. From the studios of the Evangelist Ministry, we spread the good news about Jesus Christ and His saving grace. Our mission is to guide souls to Christ. Yes, our mission is to reconcile this present world with God. My dear friends, the topic of this morning is what will hell be like? Let's think about that. Let's open the Bible and, and the book of Matthew chapter 25. Yes. Uh, chapter 20, yeah. <clears throat> chapter 24. Verse 40 and 45. The Bible said, Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at meal. The one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for you know not what are you law to come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known and what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would and would not have suffered his house to be broke up. Therefore, be you also ready, for in such an hour as you think not the Son of Man come. Who then is a faithful and wise servant? Who oh, his Lord has made ruler of his household to give them meat in due season. My dear friends, The question of this morning is this. Who wants to know about hell? Well, I believe that the unsaved people need to know and need to listen into this sermon. Last week, I was preaching about what will heaven be like was another subject dedicated to the unsaved people, to those who don't know Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord. And the topic of this morning is also dedicated who doesn't know about hell. Today is the day that you can listen and you can learn and make your own decision which way you want to go. Because the decision is yours. You want to spend eternity in presence with the Lord or you want to spend eternity in hell and eternity. You decide what to do. But my dear friends, it's very important to know this. <clears throat> Think about this. We talk about hell in Christian theology is the ultimate destination of unrepentant sinners and the abode of the devil and his followers. It is described a place of eternal punishment characterized by torment, darkness, Separation from God and destruction. God has never sent anyone to hell. I want you to have in mind that God has never sent anyone to hell. God will never send anyone to hell. Actually, people do this themselves by their unbelief. 
for not trusting Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord. God never sent anyone to hell, just as he never forces anyone into heaven. But the good news is that God is sorry that no one perish and suffer eternal torment. My dear friends, it's very important to all to know about what is healthy life. We need to know. We need to know, my dear friends. What is hell be like? We can know from what Jesus said that hell is an eternal punishment. It's eternal fire. The Bible said that then he will say to those on his left, the depart from me. You curse into the eternal fire. Prepare for the devil and his angels. My dear friends, the question is, do you hear exactly what, I, what the Bible said? Think about it. It said that, that, that depart from me, you curse into the eternal fire. The eternal fire, the Bible said, is prepared for the devil and his angels angels. Amen. It's not for the human being. This hell was built and was made just for the devil and his angels. Have that in mind. That's why the Bible said, then he will say to those on his left, depart from me, you curse into the eternal fire. Prepare for the devil and his angels. Matthew 25, verse 41. If we're talking about hell in the physical way, the Bible said, and do not, and do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Matthew 10, 28. And we agree with each other, my friends. Amen. Now, the Bible said that hell is, is just a, a horrifying place. Well, let's see what the Bible said. And if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life crippled than with two hands to go to hell, to the unquenchable fire unquenchable fire let's think about what hell is like the bible say the unquenchable fire is a place of torment for eternity the most common description of hell however is that it's unquenchable fire a place with those who have been seen will be there. Let's think about what Romans 3.23 said, for all have sinned and fall short unto the glory of God, according to Romans 3.23. Think about, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Can we agree with, uh, with me? Amen. Before looking at hell, as an eternal suffering, an eternal torment, it's important to get a solid understanding of who God is, as well as his character. Yes, my friends, God is love. The Bible says that God is love. Amen? The Bible says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 16, So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love. And, and whoever abides in, in love, abide in God. And God abides in him. 1 John chapter 4, verse 16. Amen? Amen. 
let me read it for you again. This is, so we, we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love. And whoever abides in love abides in God. And God abides in him. First John chapter 4, verse 16. So, my dear friends, can you agree with me? Amen. Listen. God is the originator of love. And all his actions are directed by love. Jeremiah even said, yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have through you. According to Jeremiah 31, verse 3. Amen? Amen. My dear friends, there are so many jokes about heaven and hell. You can hear daily jokes about hell and heaven. But allow me to tell you this morning, heaven and hell are not a joke in this place called hell. There will be no church. There will be no preacher. And there will be be no gospel invitation at all for you. Do you understand? Stop joking around heaven and hell. Because heaven and hell are not a joke. In this place called hell, there will be no church, no preaching, and there will be no gospel invitation to all of you to be saved. The only time to be saved is in this moment. It's right in this moment you have the opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord. <clears throat> My dear friends, the Bible clearly states that God doesn't even enjoy wicked persons' death. Do you understand now, my friends? Do you understand what I said? Amen. There are so many jokes about heaven and hell. But allow me to tell you again, heaven and hell are not a joke. In this place called hell, there will be no church, no preacher. There will be no gospel invitation to all of you to be saved. The only moment that you have to accept Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord is in this moment when you are alive. Listen what the Bible said. Say to them, as I live, declare the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. But the wicked turn from his way and leave. Turn back and turn back from your evil ways. For why would you die, O house of Israel? Ezekiel 33, 11. My dear friend, God is merciful to us all. He's merciful to you. He knows about me. He knows about you. God is merciful to us all. God doesn't want anybody to go to hell. Because hell wasn't made for human beings. Hell was made for Satan and his friends. Not for you. Not for me. God is merciful to us all. God's love for human is everlasting life. For everlasting. Yes, God is merciful to you and I. He's still waiting for you to come and accept Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord. God's love for human is everlasting. His love is for, for, is for eternity. More, more people believe in heaven than believe in hell because it's convenient to them. But hell is a literal place. There can be no heaven without hell, my dear friends. Jesus 
Christ actually spoke more about hell than he did heaven. And he described it as a really place. My dear friend, <clears throat> hell is actually a place with sinners that never repented of their sin ending in hell. And it's an actual place. He used biblically descriptive language when he spoke about hell was never intended for human beings but was a place of eternal punishment prepared for the devil and his followers, the demons. According to Matthew chapter 25 and, and 41. My dear friends, the Bible describes hell with words that simple cannot be imagined. It's beyond, much beyond our imagination. Biblical scripture of the physical nature of hell. The Bible said, and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have not rest day or night who worship the beast and his image and who, whosoever received the mark of his name, according to Revelation 14, 11. The Bible said that the torment is day and night. Yes. The torment is forever in hell, my dear friends. The Bible said that the smoke of their torment goes beyond our imagination. Up, day after day, and they have no rest, day or night. It is eternal torment because deny or refuse Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord. Today, is the day that you might think twice. Today is the day. Today is your opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord. My dear friends, true is this. We need to clarify what hell is all about. Amen? Amen. The Bible says, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and the murderers and who are mongers and sorcerers and idolaters and liars shall have their part in the lake which burn with fire and brimstone, which is the second death, according to Revelation chapter 21, 8. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for mothers, the sexually immoral, sources, idolaters, and liars, the portion will be in the leg that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second day. Yes, my dear friends. That's the way it is. My dear friends, the Bible also said this, that the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Revelation 20, 10. My dear friends, it's very simple. The devil who had deceived them was threw into the lake of fire and suffer what the beast and the false prophet were, and they will be tormented day and night forever. Do you understand, my friends? Amen. My dear friends, the Bible said, the Son of Man, the Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be welling and garnishing of teeth, according to Matthew chapter 13, verse 41 and 42. My dear friends, the Son of Man will send his angel and they will gather from his kingdom everything that caused others to sin and those who practice loneliness and they will throw them 
into the blazing furnace and that place there will be boiling and garnishing of tears. Do you understand, my friend? The question of, of this morning is this, because I want to clarify. First thing, I want to clarify, my dear friends, that hell wasn't built or wasn't made for human beings. In fact, it was made for Satan and his followers. We as a human beings, we have the opportunity this morning to accept Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord. Because it's important. Who wants to go to hell? Nobody, my friends. Who is going to hell, my dear friends? Well, Revelation 21.8 describes who goes to hell. The Bible is simple, cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the, the martyrs, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic art, the idolaters, and all liars. Their place will be in the fiery lake of burning sulfur. A critical, important word in this list is unbelieving. The unbeliever. Do you understand? The unbeliever, this is a very important word in this list, the unbeliever. Who are the unbelievers that go to hell? Jesus Christ is clear. Listen to me. I, I want you to put anything, I, I, I really great attention in this. Who are the unbelievers that will be ending in hell? John, in the book of John is clear. He that believe on him is not condemned. But he that believe not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. My dear friend, John 3.18. Amen, my dear friends. Amen. Amen. Let me say it again. Who goes to hell? Well, Revelation 21a describes who goes to hell. The cowardly, the unbelieving, the veil, the martyrs, the sexual immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, and all liars. They place will be in fiery lake of burning sulfur. A critical, important word in, in, in this list is the unbeliever. The unbelieving. Who are the unbelievers that go to hell? Well, the book of John is clear. Listen to me. Who is the unbeliever? The Bible said, we said that the, the unbeliever will be in hell. But who is the unbeliever? John is clear. The Bible said in the book of John chapter 3 verse 18 said, he that believe in him is not condemned. But he that believe not is condemned already because he had not believed in, in the name of the only begotten Son of God. John 3.18 Meaning, my dear friends, those who do not believe in Jesus Christ will suffer eternal punishment in hell, my dear friends. Did I, did I, did I myself clear? I am myself clear, my friends. Amen. Meaning, those who do not believe in Jesus Christ will suffer eternal punishment. Whoever does not believe is then condemned already because they, they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. Did I make myself clear, my friends? Amen. And, and in other words, my dear friend, anyone who does not believe in Jesus Christ, anyone who does not repent of their sins, <clears throat> and anyone who does not ask for forgiveness is doomed to eternal separation from God and His holy angels. Every human who has ever lived, anyone that is alive today, and anybody who will yet live in the future who doesn't know or did not believe in Jesus Christ are destined 
for hell of fire. Amen. And then, my dear friends, do we know who is going to hell? The unbeliever. Who is the unbeliever, my dear friends? Well, let me repeat you John 3.18. The Bible said, he that believe on him, we're talking about Jesus Christ, is not condemned. But he that believe not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. John 3.18. My dear friends, every human who has ever lived, anyone that is alive today and anybody who will live, yet live in the future who does not or did not believe in Jesus Christ are destined for hell. The everlasting torment. Yes, my dear friends. My dear friends, now let me ask you a question. Or allow me to explain to you this. The way to avoid this unspeakable torment is to choose to trust in Jesus Christ. Place your faith in Jesus Christ and ask for forgiveness from our Lord. Everyone has a choice to make in this life. Everyone has a choice to make in this morning. You can either choose eternal life in presence with the Lord, or you can choose eternal punishment and hell. My dear friends, it's a way, because God always He was a way to prevent us to end in, a, in hell. The way to avoid this is unspeakable torment in hell is to choose to trust in Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord. Place your faith in Jesus Christ and for forgiveness from our Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone has a choice to make in this morning. Everyone has a choice to make in this life. You can either choose eternal life through faith in Jesus Christ and presence with the Lord or eternal punishment. Amen, my dear friends. Amen. No one is saved by being a good person or doing good works. Do you agree with me? Amen. The Bible said in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is gift of God, not of work, lest any man should boast. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. My dear friends, many people who say that they are a good person will end up in hell because they have placed their faith in the wrong good work. Do you understand what I mean? Do you understand what I mean? Many people who say that are a good person will end up in hell because they have placed their faith in their own good works. Many people who believe that this belief they are going to heaven. This is not what the Bible said. So a great number of good people say that they are nice people, but they in this sense it's not true. There will be a lot of nice people. There will be a nice and good people in hell someday because they have rejected the only one way who had got right place in him. Jesus Christ. You rejected Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord, you will be ending in hell. Either take God's wrath on yourself someday or ask Jesus Christ to forgive you and believe in Him because He has taken upon Himself God's wrath. Your good works are like filthy rags, according to Isaiah 64, 6. The Bible is very clear, for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not of work, lest any man should boast. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. Amen? And that's the way it is. 
Amen. My dear friends, this morning, in this very morning, either take God's wrath on yourself someday, or ask Jesus Christ to forgive you in this moment and accept Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord. I want you to remember this very clear. Jesus Christ said unto him, I am the way, the true and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. John 14, 6. My dear friend, we can get into a conclusion this morning. Let's think about this. Hell in Christian theology is the ultimate destination of unrepentant sinner and the abode of the devil and his follower. Amen. Amen. It is described as a place of eternal punishment. Hell is described as a place of eternal punishment. Characterized by torment, eternal torment, darkness, separation from God eternally, and destruction. God has never sent anyone to hell. Have that in mind, that God has never sent anyone to hell. God will never send anyone to hell. Actually, people do this to themselves by their unbelief, for not accepting Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord. God never sent anyone to hell just as He never forces anyone into heaven. But my dear friend, the good news is for you this morning. Accepting Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord. Have you ever accepted Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord? The good news is that God decides that no one perish and suffer eternal torment. The Bible said in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, say, But it is long suffering to us words, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. Amen? Amen. My dear friends, it's time to go. And request to you once again, have you ever accepted Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord? If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord, today is the day of your salvation. Today is the moment that you can make a decision which way you want to go, heaven or hell. But this is your decision, your personal decision. God bless you and God bless America.